this is the one that has the crazy, like where you're gravity bootsing around on a s- cylinder. And oh stuff. yeah. Oh man, that's right with the spider boss and things like that. Uh huh. And the oh, and the crowd doing the wave. I remember that was a particularly uh, difficult thing, especially since the crowd was so expensive. Frame rate wise, the crowd always was a huge problem. Oh, thank you. Oh for wow, we getting... didn't even give you an option to buy ammo. Oh. What a bunch of dicks we are. I think that was a pretty good enemy segment, don't you, Mike? I think that was pretty fun. Yeah. Great times. Yeah, I mean, you know, not my favorite, but you know, certainly, <laughs> certainly in my top twenty. So uh, is it only the centipede boss in this level, or do we have another boss that uh, was also part of the this here? Oh, uh, you got me, dude. I have no idea. Let's, let's use a weapon I don't have. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you should work on your upgrades in here. Especially given how much I'm getting owned. Uh, in general, I probably should make an effort. It's at times like this, Tony, that I'm sad that we can, that can't have you play sometimes yeah well until we figure out some way to make that happen if anybody knows of a way to transfer saves from one playstation 3 to another playstation 3 oh well that's uh, easy it's more about the video recording equipment oh yeah oh right tony go out and buy some video recording equipment. <laughs> transferring saves is simple you're almost done just don't die and you got this and you got those gravity boots there you go. Gravity well boots. Oh man. Okay, so uh, you know what I what I kind of want to do is go back to level one and get the uh, bolt break, the box breaker. Um, I want I want you to do the boss. Do of this I want to I want to do these cage matches while we're here because okay. these are really good and really interesting and really unique. I think this was, um, correct me if I'm wrong, because you would know more about this than I do. Uh, this was one of those things that people uh-huh. who get, <laughs> we just screwed you over. People who get motion sick and vertigo and all that sort of stuff. This was a bit, like any of the magnet boots stuff that we did was always a big problem for those kind of people that were prone for motion sickness and we don't let you do that. It was especially bad for... Uh, uh... The, the Japanese tend to get motion sick very easily. That's uh, racist. So when, well, when we, what I'm saying this because when we submitted it to Japan, Sony Japan actually had us make a bunch of changes to the game to make right. it le- less likely that you know the the Japanese kids playing this game would have seizures or uh, you know get sick or things like that. That's but right. You not know, all the changes we made for Japan were not all eyebrow related. <laughs> eyebrow or uh, number of fingers related. Right. <laughs> Uh, this is an interesting piece of trivia that has nothing to do with what we're doing right now, but uh, when Insomniac made Spyro the Dragon, Spyro had five toes. Or, sorry, he had four toes. Uh, but in Japan, he had five, and the reason was because in Japan, it's a, it's a big taboo to have something with four fingers, because it's a Yakuza thing. Right, and so, so when, when we were designing things for Ratchet and Clank, everything either had three or four. It was three, uh, three or, or five, five yeah. fingers, yeah. Is this Bye, a, arachnoid? Bye. Yeah, and let's do the arachnoid, because I really like the arachnoid. I think he turned out super well. And it's a very unique fight. For a boss fight on a on the inside of a cylinder, hell yeah. Because we didn't have a lot of Magna Boots enemies uh, in this game. And so the fact that we did it on these arenas is pretty impressive. I, I really like the way that these turned out. It's Again, you know, it's a matter of... It doesn't change too much about you know how the enemies behave necessarily but just that shift in sort of how you're presenting things makes things feel so different and so unique uh, that I think it was a great touch to make this arena really differentiate from the other arena that it's taking place on this sort of weird axis well and and this is way way pre Mario Galaxy so stuff like this hadn't been done yet like this... I don't think these mini turrets are going to do good for you um, with this boss He's jumping around too much. Okay. Uh... I don't think... Try to use a sniper rifle, because I don't know how close you can get... To, I think every time you get close, he jumps away. So I think you should just be able to snipe him down. 
Oh, but the sniper rifle doesn't do well on curves. There you go. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, I really like the, that gravity section. I'm a big fan. Big, yeah. big fan. I agree. That's, uh, that's, that's really cool. Some difficulties for the weapons, for sure. But I think it uh, outweighs in terms of just being uh, different. Uh, I don't think we have any other really good, unique challenges going on in here. Unless we have the centipede boss battle already unlocked, uh, we might be able to just move on. We don't have the that boss unlocked, I don't think. Let's see. No. Oh, there's, a ra there's damage avoidance, cage match, and uh, 90 Time. enemies in 90 seconds, yeah. Um, yeah, let's move on, I guess. And if we decide to come back for bolt grinding, we'll take a look at the other boss in the arena. Who probably deserves some attention. Um, oh, wait, do we not let you out until you do... No, you gotta... Oh, wait, there's, there's you gotta get the neutralizer. You gotta get the... Infil you gotta use the infiltrator. Oh, this is another one of our... I like this puzzle. Coded by this puzzle? P Peter Hastings. But who designed the, uh, the infiltrator stuff? Peter Hastings. He did it. So, all Peter. Yeah, he designed and programmed that thing. He did it all on his own. Wow, okay. Uh, and uh, it very cool, very easy to set up. Uh, like, it made me feel re really bad uh, when I compared it to the electrolyzer because uh, <laughs> the electrolyzer was such a pain in the ass to set up, but the those those infiltrator puzzles were so easy to set up. Man, Joba is so good looking. It is a great looking puzzle. This holds up really well. I mean, it's a PlayStation 2 game and it's still really good looking. Yeah. The, All good. credit to Craig Goodman. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this is a long cab ride though. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty unnecessarily long let's say so uh okay that was joba uh for uh developer commentary i'm mike stout i'm tony garcia and we'll catch you next time and that was I... tough dude that was tough what I was tough a, uh playing through that level and talking uh just because i am so behind the power curve right now uh it's uh it's like it's hard to to come up with interesting things to talk about, talk about them, and then not totally get my ass handed to me. <laughs>